Hey, I am teacher Antonio Grisheffo. I'm the author of the book, The Monk from Brooklyn, and the host of the web TV show, Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we're in my ESL classroom in Tainan, Taiwan, grade one, and we're going to be talking about picture stories. Right? Picture stories is a way to elicit real conversation and real English from the children. And we use these pictures. The grade ones, the lower grades, actually let the kids draw the pictures on paper. In the higher grades, I'll let the kids draw their own pictures on the board. And we're trying to use stories they're already familiar with. So today's story is The Giving Tree. Hey children, how do we start? Always start a story in English. How do we start? Picture Stories is an outgrowth of a natural language acquisition theory called ALG, Automatic Language Growth, which was originated by Dr. J. Marvin Brown, an American linguist. He was big, and he was very unhappy, and the tree said, why are you unhappy? Like many other natural language acquisition theories, ALG says we learn by listening and not by speaking. So in a strict ALG classroom, the teachers would be at the front just talking, 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 and it would be completely teacher-centered, and the students would learn by listening. Now, we can't do that in Taiwan because the parents would never stand for it, the curriculum wouldn't allow it. So I try to work in a little bit of ALG into my teaching schedule every day. Why are you so sad? And the boy said, I need a house. And the tree said, you can cut me and make a house. By telling these stories, we do a teacher-centered uh, maybe a 10 minutes or 15 minutes where I get up at the front and I tell the story and the students listen. And I'll tell that same story again and again and again. Maybe I'll tell it every day, every other day, until the students begin to absorb the new vocabulary, concepts, grammar. Okay, who wants to tell stories? And then I allow the students to come up and retell the story. And they retell it in their own words and it's not memorized. This is not a memorized presentation. And I want to pray. The, the boy is 18 years old. He is sad. The tree said, why are you so sad? The boy is sad. This is the students developing their own way at their own level of expressing this concept or, or, or of telling this story of real communication. And that's why I like Picture Story, because Picture Story is real communication. The students want to tell the story, and they are telling the story. House. The tree said, you can cut me and make a house. The boy is 78 years old. And you'll see how excited the kids get about coming up and doing the stories. So these students are in grade one. They're between about 8 and 10 years old. They've all had about one year of English. And this story is not memorized. They're sort of making it up. Now, we have practiced this story before, but they didn't memorize it. They're doing it in their own words, and they'll all do it a little bit differently. They'll make some changes to it. Right, who wants to be number two? Okay, wait. I want to go to the tree that I can cut on me. The boy is 18 years old. 18. One of the best things about picture stories is that it could be used at any level, and actually any story could be used at any level. Obviously you want to keep the stories simple. I tend to try and use stories that they would be familiar with, or um, sometimes I'll do popular Disney movies because the kids are familiar with them. We'll use that. Sometimes I'll use stories that are in our reading book. Try and use stories that kids are familiar with because one of the other methods I used for learning foreign languages was the core novel method and that meant that I constantly read books in translation that I already read in English. The boy is 78 years old. He is sad. The why are you so sad? So the students are all telling a story in their own way and we're just learning some presentation skills. Just started learning presentation skills how to talk to the crowd while they're doing this, but this is a good way of teaching public speaking and storytelling. Something else is that these pictures, because they're sealed in plastic, we can save them. And over the course of the, of the school year, I have the children drawing different pictures for different stories, 
We can save them, we can pull them out six months from now and let the kids tell the same stories again. Each trigger acts as a, as a mnemonic device to help them remember uh, that story or what they would say. But as their English is developing, the things they say will become more complicated, more complex, and more detailed. So this is all, we're just beginning. This is grade one, and these are Taiwanese kids. They've had one year of English, and I think they're doing very well. Very proud of them. The core novel method, and that helped me to learn German and Spanish and other foreign languages. And so, using that same concept, where the only thing that's that's missing is the language, but the kids already understand or already know the story, it makes things a lot easier. And you'll also notice I use a lot of TPR, facial expressions, voice modulation, every tool that I can to tell the story. This is the story of the Giving Tree, and I chose this because a lot of these fables or fairy tales, they're kind of universal stories that kids in different cultures will know. And so we want to tell things that they're already familiar with, plus the vocabulary, the concepts are pretty basic. There's a tree, there's a motorcycle. We use motorcycle because in Taiwan everyone drives a motorcycle, so an 18-year-old boy wanting a motorcycle is pretty normal. 28-year-old boy gets married, gets to buy a house, pretty normal. Things that the kids would be uh, familiar with in most cultures. So that's why we use Giving Tree Story. So you could use even things like Aesop's Fables. You'll find that they are pretty universal, that they'll have a similar story in other cultures, uh, in Chinese culture. This story is called Wake Up Sun, and it was in their reading book. And I like using this type of story because they've already read it in the reading book. We did some exercises with it some comprehension, some writing. Then I allowed the children to draw pictures and then we put them up on the board and they have to tell the story. And the advantage here is that we have consistency of vocabulary and ideas and reinforcing and reinforcing and the same things will come up again and again. And that's how we learn is through that type of repetition. All right. And by using different stories, maybe changing every week or every 10 days, then we're bringing in new vocabulary to let the students learn, but practicing the stories helps reinforce that vocabulary. All right, so this is called Wake Up Sun. It's from their reading book. Who wants to be next? The picture just becomes a crutch. This picture just becomes a trigger, a memory trigger. One of the things you'll notice when the students come to the board, they're often pointing above the pictures before they start talking and that's because the first week that we did the exercise I had written the words once upon a time there was a I'd written those words above the pictures and the kids had to point at it before they started talking and now when they come to the board all those words aren't there they're still pointing above the pictures Picture story method can be used from first grade all the way on up to adults and it can get more and more involved. You can let the students create their own stories. You could give them some ideas but not tell them a story and then they have to create a story. You could let them draw their own pictures. Let all the students draw their own pictures on the board as they're talking. Or, like in this first grade class, the students actually did draw these but they drew them in advance and we only to save them and reuse them. You can eventually, you'll have a whole catalog of these uh, pictures on, on a file somewhere and then you can just use them to retell stories forever. That's Picture Stories. I'm Antonio Graceffo. We're in Tainan, Taiwan. Thank you.